Hi Internet, how is it going? My computer basically pretended to die while gluing the individual parts of this recording together. So apparently video editing software is like printers and they smell fear, since I just wanted to get this over with quickly and then it took all day. In other news, I'll be in France for a few days from the end of this week onwards, and once I get back I'll immediately have to catch up with all sorts of things, so I doubt I'll deal with the stress of editing videos for a while, but enjoy this one while it lasts. I know you are here for some traditional painting, so here's some traditional painting. I usually don't paint such large portraits, so it was kinda experimental since I wanted to see whether I would pay more attention to detail if I have a big face to work with. Spoilers, turns out I don't. But at least now you can see up close how messy I work, and half of the shadows in the thing don't make any sense. And there aren't even many of those. But still. I also only noticed upon coloring that I accidentally cut off the right strap of her dress from that dress. So let's say it's post-game or whatever, Edna has eventually stopped giving any fucks whatsoever, like even less than before and decided to cut off the strap on her dress or something. All of this sounds terribly negative. Um, I actually like the result. It's just not 100% what I'd wish it to be. Then again, experience tells me that the internet's response wouldn't be any more enthusiastic if I was, so I suppose it doesn't matter that much in the end. I super rarely work with yellows and oranges, mostly because they're my least favorite colors as well as pink. So it's a little surprising that Edna is actually my favorite character in Tages Hysteria. And I'm not even particularly drawn towards Earth Element either, but I love everything about Edna. And although the Earth Mattress is completely underrated, it just made two cents. Anyway, what I was getting at is every time I dig out my chrome yellow watercolors, I'm surprised just how brilliant that color is. You wouldn't guess it, but yellow of all colors is surprisingly opaque and color fast than watercolors and in inks. So the result is a very, very shiny Edna. Anyway, I am hungry and very, very stuffed for affection towards my art right now. So I'll leave you with the rest of this video and hope you'll enjoy watching me paint. Take care, see you and be nice while I'm out of town.